when you're finally clear on how to actually sew the pieces together, you do it. It's gonna take some sewing and some pressing and boom, you're done. Now the exciting part, you get to try it on. I love the way this skirt falls. I love the pockets and I am ready to try it on with the cross back and see if the whole thing will come together. Try it on the cross back. It feels and looks so good. So good that I am ready to make it real. But first, I do not want this fabric to be in my final. No offense to you if you love it. I think that's great not my style. Before I start cutting out my actual fabric, did I even show you the fabric? Oh my gosh. I have this linen to use as our official final fabric. It has this really nice subtle pinstripe and it has a great drape. I just think it's so lovely. I got this at the market in Istanbul. I am using this ribbon as the straps and the tie. I really would like to get a natural undyed webbing. I think that would look really beautiful and feel great to the touch, but this is what I have and it'll do for now. Before I start cutting out the final fabric, I really want to refine the design. So for me, that means taking really detailed measurements of the drawing as I have it on the craft paper and translating that into a 2D computer model. I'm using Seamly 2D, which is a pattern making program. It's open source, you are free to use it. I really suggest checking out Minimalist Machinist's YouTube videos to start messing around with the software. She kind of gives you tips and tricks on how to get started. It was really helpful for me and I think you will love it. Once the pattern's drafted, you can print it out. So the way I did it was slicing up a lot of edges, putting them in order, and then taping them all together very carefully. Finally, you can cut out the pattern and you have a really nice paper piece of pattern. This is when it gets exciting for me. I have a pattern that I am pretty sure I'm going to love and it's ready to go. It's just, it's time to cut and sew. That's almost the best part. I really love the design process, but bringing it all together and having a final piece is so exciting. I just love it all. I don't know how to say. It is time to lay out the fabric, put those pieces on and cut them out. Then, as normal, you gotta sew it all together. I'm using French seams for this project, which I find to be beautiful, but they take a little bit of extra work. You have to understand them correctly. Just like me here, I did it wrong. So I had to unpick it. It took a while. Watched some YouTube videos. So that was fun. Nice break from being creative. So you just kind of mindlessly snip and Try not to snip your original fabric. Then you can put them back together the opposite way. The seams were really bulky around the pocket. So before I sewed the sides together the second time, I went through and trimmed some of the bulk off so that it would lay flatter, press better, and look a little bit cleaner. I like to make sure I press my seams really well to get that crisp look. I think it looks really nice and beautiful when it's done. The rest there is to do is attaching the straps. and then hemming the neckline and all the edges.
I am so excited about this. It looks so beautiful and I can't wait for it to be ready to use. This apron is great for frolicking, for dusting plants or other items, for laundry chores. It's good for posing anywhere you find yourself, for cleaning perfectly clean patios, more frolicking, Did I say it was good for frolicking? They're good for taking care of your dirty rugs, for cleaning up artificially dirtied patios, washing dishes. It's great for air guitar and also frolicking. Did I say that already? And when you're ready to go to your fancy event, you just take off the apron, you're clean and ready to go.